Well, for this week's Golden Apple, a teacher finds a way to globalize her classroom by taking a two-week trip to West Africa. Our Brenda Mack tells us more. This is in a geography classroom. From a classroom in West Africa. In many classrooms in Senegal don't have maps. To one in northern Minnesota. I think we should be focusing on um, like education. A high school teacher has found a way to integrate an international experience with her geography class in Grand Rapids. I just completed a two-week trip to Senegal in Western Africa, which was sponsored by the U.S. State Department. With this trip, Brielle has a goal in mind, to provide students a perspective larger than themselves. Get those people jobs. Too often we have one story of what Africa is, which is poverty. And Africa is so much more than that. And so I really think it's important that our students realize that, that they're able to research and articulate some of these really important successes and challenges that the continent is facing. The goal is to prompt curiosity, think critically, and to keep the dialogue open. Sometimes, like, like the things we're talking about, oh, countries should come in and help us, or help them, but we don't see that very often. Are we going to necessarily change the world in these three weeks that we're studying about Africa, no, but are we discussing about these issues and are we thinking about these issues? Are we looking at different perspectives? Yes, and that to me is what's important because it's setting them up for the future. Through this class experience, not only have students gained a greater sense of global awareness, but also a personal one. Different activities where they're more hands-on help me a lot. You know, being able to debate like what you're passionate about and that kind of stuff, just like knowing your facts and like the more that you learn, the more you'll be able to use in life. So People are really people everywhere. I mean, people are the same everywhere. They want the same things. They want love and they want shelter. They want to be able to support their family. You know, I would like to travel someday and she's taught me a lot about what there all is in the world, so yeah. The teacher says some leaders of Senegal identified healthcare as their top priority. For Golden Apple, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.